I'm Nate, this is Shoefus Productions, and today's video is about an Ender 3 I bought, brand new, out of the box. Had a problem with it, and the reason I bought it in the first place is because there's so many out there, thousands of them, I thought any problems, I can just Google it and get the, get the answer, and that wasn't the case. So um, I, found the, I found the problem, I fixed it, and if you want to find out what I've done, keep watching. So this is the end of three. Uh, the reason I bought it is, like I said, because there's literally thousands of them out there. Um, any problems, there's communities and stuff. And I didn't think I'd be contributing to the community as quick as I am because I'm a newbie. So um, got it out of the box, put it together. And the first thing I've done, uh, I watched videos and stuff on YouTube. And the first thing you do is you prepare it and you click the auto home. And I've now put the machine into a simulated fault mode as it was when I got it out of the box. So as you can see, the X and the Y homed, but the Z just went up. So if I press it again, you'll just notice that the Z axis just keeps going up and doesn't do anything. And if you look here, this is the, the micro switch for the Z axis. And what I've done to simulate the fault is literally unplugged the micro switch. So I checked the continuity between the pins on the micro switch and one of them wasn't making it, the circuit board was damaged, um, the, the copper dragon, I don't know if I got hit by a screwdriver or whatever in the manufacturer. Now I could have got, got, got in touch with the supplier and got them to send me a new switch and I, I don't think they're very expensive but I was in a bit of a hurry to get it working and then I really wanted to sort the problem out. Um, there was no answers on the internet, no one on the forums, they were all talking about flashing your card and all this. So what I'm going to do now, um, if you can just zoom in, so if you look on the circuit board there, all I've done is a little bit of wire. It doesn't have to be the exact length, you can snake it around to make it fit. I just soldered that on, one on one pin, one on pin on the switch. And these switches on this machine are in the always made contact mode, so there's always a connection, and when the switch presses, it breaks the connection. The same as how I've simulated this fault by pulling that plug out. So what I've done, I soldered that wire on, and I'll just turn the machine off now. Right, I'm just going to re-plug that wire back in, and then uh, you'll see now when I press auto home what should happen. And I'll say that's quite a simple fix. Obviously, if you've got this problem, not necessarily if you buy a new machine, but even if you know this switch wears out and goes wrong, that's the symptom you'll get, whether that's on the X, Y, or the Z axis you'll find that one of them is not setting because that's seeing that switch has been broken all the time when it's not. That's just um, that's either folly or in my case the, the circuit board had a break on it. So I've plugged that switch back in now and uh, so when you first set up your machine the first thing you'll do is press auto home under prepare and now you'll see that the correct function of what it should do. So that's how it should function. I say, fix that switch, all done. So um, I hope that helps someone. If you've got a problem either with a new machine or one that you've been running for a while and all of a sudden one of your accesses doesn't auto home, it's probably down to that micro switch. All it needs adjusting or replacing. So thanks for watching. We'll be back soon.